In this short video tutorial, what we're going to look at doing is, is creating new pages and also then adding them to the menu system here in the website. And it's nice and easy because we've already logged in, we've kind of got this other edit option bar up the top here. And it's, we can actually just um, instantly, just up here it says add new, we can add a new page directly from there. Or if we're in the, just quickly show this as well, if we're in the administration part, there's an option here which you can also add a new page as well. So you can still see this option on the top is still here, so we're just gonna click um, add new page and it's going to be for fees. So I won't, um, in another tutorial, I'll show you how to add text and things like that, but this is just for creating new pages and, and then adding them to the menu. And once we've added it, we click publish because um, we click publish, that means it's gone live, but we won't be able to see it on the website at the moment because it's been, not been added to the menu. And because we want to add a few more pages, we can just go up here and click add page. And let's say for an example, we want to add one that's um, just for the doctors. And here's something, um, just, um, just something a little new here for you is over on the right hand side here, we want this to be a drop down page to a parent page. So that more or less just means that um, we want it to yeah, be a child page, you could say. So at the moment, we want to say, well, who's its parent page? Where this drop down is going to live, this child page. And we want this one to go under our staff. Um, here we go, Browley Surgery Staff. Add it here and click publish. And that's done. So we're going to add another page, which we're going to call nurses. Nice and easy. Once again, we want this to be a child page of the Bradley Surgery Staff page. Click publish. And we've got one more we want to add there as well. And nice and easy. We just click add new page. Just going to paste that in there. Administration staff. And once again, say it's a child page or identify its parent page as being the Browley Surgery staff. And click publish. We've done that, and if we go visit the main website. We'll see that these options aren't here. You see that we've got that option there that says staff, which will be our staff section. So what we're going to do is add uh, those um, child pages underneath that parent page. Once again, it's nice and easy. We've got this option here that says menus and or we're in the dashboard within appearance. We've got menus here as well. So you can go either of those two ways. And just something here now we can start to see here is the actual menu structure that you actually see live on the website. Here's the most recent page, so you can kind of see that they've been added there. There's administration staff, nurses, and doctors, and it's showing us because we identified these to be um, child pages to this parent page that it's actually showing that within the system here as well. And you might say, well, Browley Surgery staff, you can't see that over here, but it's just here. You see this one here, and the reason why you can actually the page name will um, come up by default. As the navigation label that we just wanted to shorten that one um, just to staff you can change that as you need to then you just well this that's a bit of degress let's just go back to saying we want to add these new pages so fees was one that we wanted to do so we can do this and click them all we can, I'll just do one for now and just go click add to menu oops sorry I'm just moving around I'm gonna move that back there I should just drag Okay, it's been a little bit difficult. I shouldn't do that. Ah, there we go. Just gonna close that. If you wanna look in there, we can see that that um, page has been added to the menu. I'm just gonna click Save Menu and visit the website. It's very important to click Save Menu. You can see that's been added there. Let's go back here. It's nice and easy if you wanna move this around, we can just drag. The important thing is see how it's dropped in there. We don't want it to drop there. We want it to keep it outside. And I'll show you why I'm just going to click save now. Um, we're going to click these child pages and add to menu. 
So we want to put them under the um, parent page, which is the staff page here. So you can just drag and drop it and see how it indents. That's what you want to see. I'll show you how that looks on the website once we do that. So it's doing that. We don't want it to drop there. It's been a little bit funny. There we go. Just I'm going to have to just work a little bit. Maybe my Wark on tablet, which is not being good. <laughs> All right. Oh, please just go in there. There we go. A bit of perseverance and it's done. And I just click Save Menu. And let's just go view the website now. And we go here. And we can see that the fees has changed with that staff option. We've got those drop down pages there as well now. So I'm going to click on them takes us to those pages. So that was yeah, a quick tutorial on showing you how to create a new page and add them to the menu. If you've got any questions, yeah, please ask.